Now, what will the city do now to prevent a repeat of this week? And many people asking that question. Mayor John Cranley is promising downtown will be safe for all families. Down on your side, Tom McKee is at police headquarters tonight with what you should expect. Tom, what are they going to do? Now, all-star activities are designed to be family-friendly. Now, that contrasts with the Fountain Square concert, which was attended by lots of unaccompanied, unchaperoned young people. Now, the police have been planning for this week for more than two years to give visitors a positive look, a positive experience at the hotels and restaurants and stores of the Queen City. I don't believe it would be an overstatement to say that Cincinnati will be the safest city in America for this week. That was the all-star promise Monday from Cincinnati City Manager Harry Black. There were just eight officers on duty when the Fountain Square fracas occurred Saturday night, but that won't be the case this week. There are literally going to be hundreds, hundreds of police officers visible and managing the crowd at all times. That includes uniformed and undercover personnel, plus... You're going to see a, a layered response with more than just police officers. We're going to have our, our citizens on patrol, our downtown ambassadors. The curfew isn't part of the summer safety initiative, but Chief Jeffrey Blackwell says it could be used if needed. After the chain of events this past weekend, we're going to be looking at um, making not just downtown safe, but the entire city. The Ariana Grande concert at Paul Brown Stadium may draw 50,000 people, but it's a different crowd than Saturday. We anticipate there, there to be more guardianship of parents at that concert than was displayed at Fountain Square. All-Star planning has taken two years, and those involved say everything is ready. You'll be able to tell that we did our job because we'll be out of sight and out of mind. Even though all these resources are very much there, uh, hopefully you'll see very few of them. Now, the key for Mayor John Cranley is letting people know downtown is safe. There's a perception out there that is false, that this is like a typical, this could happen on any given night at Fountain Square. That's just not true. Now, I talked with more than a dozen restaurant and hotel managers today, and they're all very concerned about what happened Saturday night. Many tell me Saturday night concerts pose problems no matter what they are, when they are. But all of them say they hope the promises that you've just heard become the reality over the weekend. Tom McKean, not on your side, live in the West End.